do a quick update on what's been going on with the truck motor home lately. I'll start on the inside of the motor home. Can't remember what was the last what was in the last video, but I'll just go over pretty well everything. So got the gas stove there with the range hood. The, the sink. It's good to have running water. <laughs> a lot of things I haven't finished, like I had all those wires all in behind this aluminium covering here that was uh, covering the wall, but then I was going to change the TV, but Aldi didn't stop it, so I had to. I'm waiting for Aldi to bring that TV out, then I can mount it all back up. I've got two TVs because one's 240 volt and one's 12 volt and they both play DVDs and that so I, uh, Aldi's going to have one that does a whole lot, a big TV which was 12 volt with a DVD player the whole lot so that was why I'm waiting for that. I've got a little fan there uh, in the corner here all the outlets, USB, cigarette lighter sockets uh, put the vents in here so that you know, during summer you can get a bit of fresh air if I need. I don't like windows, I can put windows in later, but at this point I don't want windows. Got the uh, speaker system there that all the TVs and everything runs through those speakers, which is the stereo system down here. I'll just turn it on, light it up. Runs through that. This is where everything gets. Got the clock there. USB. Battery conditions. I've got two deep cycle batteries underneath the uh, the bed. Uh, there's a water tank under the bed and a um, grey water tank under the bed. That just tells me the temperatures outside and inside. I put that magnetic, um, I got that from an op shop, it's uh, supposed to be for the uh, kitchen but uh, I use it there to put all my bits and pieces and yeah, it's quite good. Okay, we've got the reading lights, so I can read, one there and one over there. Yeah, all the cabinets, and all done. I um, sunk these two trays into the thing so that I've got uh, somewhere to put bits and pieces. I like these handles they're really good so that when you're traveling you've got something to open and then when you when you take off they lock in position. I got them all free from a place I used to work at they were a uh, fire damaged truck and they were throwing them away, so I grabbed them. Uh, this um, piece here is just something I made up to go on the windscreen to cover the bottom half of the windscreen. I don't need it during the winter, so. This little corner here is where the shower is eventually going to be, hopefully, <laughs> one day. I um, have an air conditioner, a portable air conditioner, which is absolutely useless. That's what the hole's cutting the side there. So I'm uh, now going to buy an underbunk air conditioner to sort that out. We've got these uh, in the roof here. Little fans. They're solar powered fans. But um, I've got the switch on there so I can turn them off. I've got four of them in the roof there. Everything is controlled by the switches near the bed there but I've also got another set of switches down here. But, uh, I can con like, turn the lights on before I come in, I don't have to get over there. Um, so I'll put the pictures up on the wall there. Just pictures I've had for years that I really like so I put them up there. Um, yeah, well that's about it in here for now. I'll just, um, this is a lifting roof motorhome, so it's set over six foot inside. 
but when I'm traveling, I'm put it down, put it down there, so that it's uh, pretty well the same height as that uh, solar panel on the roof there. So I've got a little camera, the dash cam, I've got one on this side and one on the other side, the other one's inside the, the uh, truck. All the things to stop it so that it stays open. The little door. Closes. The step. I don't need the door, door mats off. But the step closes up. And you're traveling. Go around the truck. I've got the toolbox there. The power goes in, it's where you fill up the water tank. And that's where the grey water tank I can I just put it down in the ground there. So the toolbox under there. It just has all the little bits for towing like wires and pipes and shackles. Another toolbox here. two tanks on it on this side still got the hundred liter on the other side and I got the um, isolator switch and a place where I've, I've got a set of jumper leaves with these um, Anderson plugs on them one for 24 volt and one for 12 volt uh, yeah, so I have a look inside the truck Messy at the moment. We made up a put my fridge there. I'll leave it in the uh, cab so that it doesn't when it's making noise. Got me little trays here so that I'm glasses, different shades of glasses, little bits and pieces. That's me cup holders. Got the AM and the 40 channel on that side. Got the TPMS. There's all my tyre pressures. Uh, and there's the GPS. I've got one dash cam under there. Another one here. There's the other camera. Points outwards. And I've got the 80 channel up here. Uh, I've also got this. Uh, I can show you. Pull it up. Pulling here. Just a PA system with sirens. When people do stupid things, you push the police siren, and the next minute they stop doing stupid things sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's with your phone. I put a little phone holder there. You have to do something about that eventually. I just painted that with a texter. <laughs> and yeah, so that's me little truck, my little motorhome. Um, There's uh, got LEDs in it, so it lights up blue. And the stairs have got a um, set of LEDs on them that light up the stairs. But, uh, yeah, so when you're travelling, it's not very high. You can still get under places and that. But, uh, yeah. Okay, that's the update. Bit of a long one this time, but someone asked me to do one, so I thought I'd show them the whole lot. Thank you.